everyone, it's me, Miss Janine. This is me in my protective wear. Sometimes you'll see me in full protective wear, or it'll just be my mask and my smock. So, uh, this is what I'll look like throughout the day. And let me take it off. It's a little warm in this thing, but it's okay. So there's my smock and my mask, my face shield. Not a mask, it's a face shield. This right here is a mask. Whew. And here's me. So let me tell you a little bit about myself before I show you around our classroom. I have been working with Noises County Community Action Agency for seven years. Yes, that's a long time, but I love what I do. Uh, before that, I worked at a daycare for seven years. I guess that's my lucky number. <laughs> um, so I'm currently going to school at Del Mar for early childhood education. I'll be graduating in December of this year, 2020. Woohoo! I'm so proud of myself. I'm almost there. I'm in the home stretch. Um, I'll be graduating with my associates. Um, and yeah, I think that's about it. Are you ready to see our classroom? Here we go. So first off, we have our library center. There's a little couch and two little floor chairs. And the children can sit in these and the teacher can sit in these. And we have a little cozy corner. And let's see. And we also have a little bookshelf that needs some more books in there. <laughs> there we have some cubbies for the children's belongings. And uh, they'll all get a little Ziploc bag that has, or, um, a pencil pouch for their mask whenever they take it off. Here we have our science center. And this is where they get to explore and try out science experiments and other things. They'll also get to do them at the table with me. And next we have our block center slash music center. So here we have a shelf of cars and people and trains. They're magnetic and they stick together. And to end, let's see, there's a train. And the locomotive. And oops, and they stick together. And on this side, we have our blocks, some more animals, some connecting blocks, and some building blocks. And they do get switched out from time to time so the children don't get bored. Here we have our music center. There's a lot of shakers and things for them to bang, explore with music. And here we have our kitchen center. It's got um, props for food and um, plates and pots and pans. A little bit of dress up clothes. And since we currently don't have our baby dolls, I put in some of these multicultural dolls need to get some dolls oops here we have some more pots and pans and spoons forks knives cups and this is our kitchen it's the sink and here is our refrigerator and this is where I get all the food from that you've been you would see in our learning virtual teaching videos That 
is our small little kitchen area. And I'm gonna see, this is a better view. Next we have our art and writing center. Currently, everybody will have their own individual crayon box. It's filled with the paint brushes, markers, crayons, and Play-Doh. And underneath each box, they'll have their own um, notebook, um, a mat for them to play with the, the Play-Doh with, and some construction paper that I folded into a little booklet. And then on the top, we have these sketches, Etch-a-Sketch, kind of like an Etch-a-Sketch. Can't remember what it's called, but it's a magnetic. And last we have our manipulatives, fine motor and math. There's a lot of things for them to use their little fingers for and matching and counting. And this is our math and manipulatives. And this is our table that we eat at. Right now, currently I have the tables together, but if it doesn't work out, I will separate them, give them more space, probably will end up separating them. And there's our easel for drawing. And we have a refrigerator that holds our milk and our breakfast fruit and our snack fruit. And right next to it is our cot. Um, and they are labeled with children's names. And we have an air purifier. Now that we've gone through this whole pandemic, we've taken extra precautions to keep children safe. And that mop will not be there in the classroom. I forgot to take it out, I am so sorry. There's our changing table. We've got diapers and gloves, wipes, and right there is our sensory table. Um, it's probably not gonna get used as much. I have some individual buckets that I will be using for sensory play. And last we have our bathroom, our restroom. The restroom because there's no bathtub. So this is where the children wash their hands. We have two sinks, one with steps for our shorter children. That way they can be able to reach the, the faucet and the soap and wash their hands. There is our paper towel dispenser. And we have three child-sized toilets. And we have an ADA bar for children that need assistance. And that is our classroom, our restroom. I hope, I hope you enjoyed viewing our classroom. I can't wait for children to start and be welcomed into a loving, exciting classroom. I will see you later.